Hey guys, it's Will here. I'm gonna make this uh, mushroom appetizer that I put chopped mushrooms on a baguette and on slices. And I was at a dinner party and they had these chopped mushrooms on uh, slices of baguette and it was so good and it had a bit of heat to it. And uh, I've never really liked mushrooms, especially like whole mushrooms, just the texture and even sometimes when it's cooking, I don't really like the smell, but I was really surprised that this tasted really good. And these are the, uh, I decided to use these cremony mushrooms. They're really good. And uh, I chopped them really small. So I've got a chopped onion. You can dice that really small. Um, and also I used a clove garlic, a clove. So I, I just pressed it with a garlic press. So it's, it's uh, minced up pretty small. And so I'm gonna start to, what I usually do, as I've shown in many videos, you don't need to use oil when you're, when you're uh, frying up veggies. You can just, for onions, you can put them in dry. And as they start to, to cook and brown a bit, you can add some water and that caramelizes the, the onions. And, uh, and then you can add the garlic and the, and the mushrooms. Hey guys, so I've got um, a whole grain baguette sliced into thin slices. Um, I put 18, nine, nine for each of us. And uh, I'm gonna toast these. So the oven's gonna be, is preheating at 350. You know, the temperature is now 350, 400. You just gotta watch it. And um, I just watch it until it starts to get toasty. Um, not too dark, not too bad, not like toasted, but this is just a quick way to um, toast up, you know, just make them firmer and a bit crunchy. So I don't flip them or anything. So when, once the oven's heated up to 350, I'm gonna throw these in and I'll take, you know, five, 10 minutes to uh, toast up a bit. So as these mushrooms start to, to cook, you can hear them cooking, I'll add a little bit of water. And you'll see sometimes that brings out a little bit of the brown of the onions. And I just do a little bit of water here and there as I, as I stir these up. All right guys, so I've chopped up these mushrooms fairly small and the onions are cooking nicely. So I'm gonna add in the mushrooms and I've got a clove of garlic pressed here. And um, I, a lot of times people say garlic will burn and stuff, so you don't want to put it in like right away at the beginning. But uh, I, I've been throwing it in various times and haven't really noticed the difference. So I'm just gonna add it at the same time as the mushrooms. Mushrooms have, uh, so this is a pound of mushrooms, 454 grams, just in case you're interested. I usually have a little bit left over depending on how many um, slices of bread you use. So these are gonna release some water I've got the, the burner on pretty much maximum, pretty close to maximum, so I usually do that most of the time, um, even with the mushrooms. And they're going to release liquid and I'll keep cooking it until most of the liquid burns off. I don't want to um, dry them out too much, but I like, you know, you don't want too much liquid, so it'll be moist but not super watery. So we're going to add the mushrooms in and the garlic now, so, and I'm going to throw in the, the baguettes because they're, um, the, the oven's just going to heat it up. So. Let's check that out. So I've got a uh, some black pepper. This is coarse grind, but you can use whatever you want. And then crushed red pepper. So if you, depending on if you like a bit of heat or not, it's up to you. I don't want to go crazy. It, black, it can add up pretty quick if you start putting some in. So I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to go with a half, half teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. So you might want to start with a quarter each and see how you like it. We like it kind of spicy. If you're used to salt, you can put in some, if you have a, like a veggie stock powder or a veggie broth that um, has some sodium, it's up to you. Or you can... You know, Dr. McDougall talks about just putting salt at the end to taste. Uh, so, like, if you put once you put the mushrooms on the baguettes, you could put just a sprinkle of salt on on um, right on the surface, so you'll your tongue will detect that. And um, but you don't have to use salt, and you know, obviously, you want to keep it within healthy limits, depending on your situation. So, for the day, like how much intake. So, anyways, 
just if you're used to salt, I know some people, you know, things can taste bland. That's why we use spices, onions and garlic as well. It can help reduce, uh, you know, your desire for the sodium and that. But So I just add that in as the mushrooms start to brown. So it's been about 10 minutes. You can you might be able to see there's still some liquid. So I, I keep cooking it till it's a bit drier than that. I'll show you the final product. And the baguettes have been in there 10 minutes. They're pretty good. They're not too burnt. They're not burnt or anything, but um, so I'll probably leave them a bit longer. So I just kind of keep an eye on them 10, 15 minutes. All right, guys. This uh, mushroom mixture is drying up pretty good. Not too much liquid in there left. So just about, uh, if you like it drier, you can go a bit longer, but it's just about ready to be put onto the baguette. So I cooked the baguettes for about 15 minutes. The more you go, like 20 or more, it would probably get browner. But once they're a little bit crispy, um, you know, I just touch them and check them out. Usually I get too hungry to wait longer, but probably 15, 20 minutes to toast the bread. Obviously uh, so keep your eye on it, depending on your oven. You can crank it up more than 350 as well. If you have a toaster oven, something like that, it would be probably a good idea. Smaller, a smaller uh, volume to heat up. but. Uh, Many ways to do it. I've even done it in the toaster sometimes, throwing a bunch in the toaster. But I have a lot to make here, so I didn't do that. Alright guys, so I've taken out the baguettes. They're uh, firm, nice and firm. I'm going to put on the mushroom mixture onto each one. So I just put a spoon on there. Go like that, put some on each one. So there you have it guys, I made 18 of these things. You got some extra mushrooms here for extra or uh, you can use them some other way. So hope you guys like that. I'll show a picture of them on a plate and uh, enjoy. You can have this as a meal, you can have it as an appetizer to have for parties or just a snack. Really tasty guys. Hope you like it, let me know what you think. Hey guys, so I just thought I'd show you the mushroom baguettes here, little appetizers. So tasty and good. As I say, you can adjust them, add other spices, um, you know, if you don't like the pepper or the hot stuff, you can remove the red pepper flakes, but it's uh, really crunchy and so, yeah, I cook these about 15-20 minutes each for the mushrooms and for the, uh, the bread, just until they get toasty and when the mushroom liquid is gone. So I'm going to eat these now, hope you guys like it, and let me know if you make it. See ya.